Good morning from the Higher Grounds Podcast Morning Minute Meditation. I'm Pastor Mike Austin, a pastor of the Landis Baptist Church in Landis, North Carolina. From time to time, perhaps more often than we care to admit, we find people using the Bible for, for some secular endeavor they may be involved with. Uh, for example, a verse that comes to my mind is 1 John 4, verse 4. The latter part of that verse states, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And maybe uh, as you would start a business, you know there's going to be challenges and difficulties and obstacles along the way, but you just remind yourself, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Another verse that comes to mind is Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Recently, my son, they played a baseball team, and the name of that team was P413. As though to say, I can do all things. I can hit the ball, I can run to first, I can catch the ball, I can ultimately win the game, and we can do that because Christ is going to strengthen us, and we're going to claim this verse as our support for our endeavors. Well, there, there's certainly nothing wrong with seeking God's blessing on your business. I certainly understand in Him we live, we move, we have our being, uh, and we certainly should seek His help in every area of life. But I do think we have to be careful about this, misusing the Word of God. As a matter of fact, in Matthew chapter 4, we find the devil actually using God's Word, but in fact he is misusing the Scriptures. In Matthew chapter 4, which is about that particular portion of Scripture uh, that I'll be reading to you, is referring to the temptation of Christ. And the Bible says, Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. So here we find the devil quoting the Bible and misusing the Bible, in the temptation of Christ. Well, I'm glad to report to you he didn't yield to that temptation. But nonetheless, I believe there's a principle that you and I need to get a hold of, and that principle is this. May we be ever so careful not to be like Satan and misuse the Word of God. But as we study the Scriptures, may we seek to rightly divide it and rightly apply it. God bless you.